All right. Hey, guys. Um, <clears throat> so this is just going to kind of walk you through uh, making the data table and the graph for the hair links activity. OK, <coughs> excuse me. So the first thing is, is across the top in your uh, in in the Google Sheets, you're going to put the information, um, the column headings. So like uh, generation. Number of hair or hammers, number of hairs, number of links, hairs eaten, okay. and if it like if you see on the hairs remaining, it doesn't fit. So there's a couple of things you can do. Either you can make the uh, top part bigger and then change um, right click and then format uh, where is it should be here somewhere um, is it conditional formatting yeah I don't know what that is okay um, there should be like a wrap. Let me see up here under the text. There should be like a text wrap somewhere that you can do. Oh, here it is, text wrapping. So you can click that. And it should, yeah, it should do something like that. So you can do that. Um, the other thing you can do, which actually, to be honest, is probably a little e easier, would be to, um, hold on, would be to just grab the, uh, like the line between two of the columns and then just pull it out and that should readjust it and make it wider for you. Okay. So okay. Um, so once you get those, you can start putting in your data. So there's there's a cool thing with a pattern if you have a pattern that you can do. So like our generations go up by ones, right? So sheets can actually recognize that pattern. If you just put the first two parts of the pattern in and then you highlight it, you highlight those, then down in the lower right corner, you click on it, like see when, you, when I hover and I get that little like almost like bullseye looking thingy, you click and hold and then you drag down. Okay. Um, and it should fill it in. Okay. Now, if you didn't go far enough, you can just click again and drag down a little more. If it went too far, you can just click off of it and delete them or whatever you need to do. All right. So it's got my generations. Um, <clears throat> now I'm going to put data in. Um, so... I'm just making up this data. Um, I'm not going to put it all the way across. I'm just going to do the first the first few here. Um, So All right, 
So you guys get the idea. Okay, so once you get all of the hairs and links in, okay, I'm not going to go all the way and make up data because you guys get the idea. So there's a few things you can do for the data table. Okay, so um, first thing you're going to want uh, for sure is you're going to want it to make it look like an actual data table, which means you highlight all of your numbers, all the headings and everything, and you're going to put a border around it. So you go up here to the borders, you click on that, and you want to choose like the all borders. All right, so it should look like that. So it should actually look like a data table. Um, I think it looks better too if you horizontal align and you do, you center everything, just kind of looks better. Okay, but basically something like that to make sure your data table actually looks nice and neat. Then making your chart. Okay, so once you get all that filled in, when you go to make your chart, you're going to highlight, we just want the, the number of animals versus the generation. So we're going to highlight the generation column the first two, the numbers, and all the way down. Okay, now I'm not going to highlight all the way down because I don't have it filled all the way down, but you would highlight all the way down to the bottom here. Okay, then you go into insert chart, and it should kick you up a chart. Hopefully, it's a line graph. If it's not, I'll show you how to change that. Okay. So mine's a line graph. If yours for some reason isn't popping up in a line graph, you have to go over here under setup under the chart editor and change the chart type from whatever it is to a line chart. And you click on that and, and then it should change to something like this. Okay. Now, if you've done it with the information correctly, you should have numbers of hairs and number of links up here in the key already. Okay. If you don't, you can just double click in there and add it in. Now, we've got generation down here. Um, so there's a few things I need. I need a different title. So we're going to call this uh, um, predator versus prey population comparison, something like that. Like you don't, It doesn't have to be exactly, but it has to tell what's being shown in the graph itself, okay? Then the other thing is we need a vertical axis label over here. We don't have a label on our axis. So you go to chart editor. Now, if for some, if somehow you accidentally close out of your chart editor like this, all you have to do is go back and either double click should, yep. Double click, or you can click up here on the three and then go to edit chart. Either one should bring it back up. All right. Now to get our, to get our vertical axis title, we're going to go to customize under the chart editor. And we're going to go to chart and axis titles. Click on that. Now we've already changed our chart title. So we're going to change this from chart title to vertical axis title. We want the, the, the vertical Y axis. Okay. And we're going to just going to put um, like something like, uh, like population number or something like that. or population um, something like this whatever okay and then generation is already done down there so we're good now the only other thing with this specific graph is we have we have information for every single generation but it's not doing it like that so we probably want to show every single generation line so to do that we're going to go in our chart editor we're going to go back. We're going to be in our customized tab. Okay. I'm going to go now. I'm going to scroll down to grid lines and ticks all the way at the bottom. Click on that and then scroll down. Okay. Now we want, we want to do our, our horizontal axis, right? So we change this to horizontal. Okay. Now, if I can remember, cause we were playing around with this the other day, I think I, oops, gosh, darn it. Let's try it again. Customize grid lines and text. Okay. I think if we leave it at step and we just put major step and we put one in here, it should, yep, 
Okay. Now yours will be a little, obviously you guys will have 22 generations, so it'll be a little more, but you put major step there and you just click off of it and it should be good. Okay. There you go. So your graph, now yours is going to look a little different because you're going to have more data than I do, obviously. Um, and you can drag it either over to the side or down further if you want. So you can see your data too, if you need to. Um, but that's pretty much it. Okay. Then make sure you answer your answer the questions. Once you get all this done, make sure you answer the questions on the Google Doc about the types of curves and stuff like that. Okay. And then turn both the spreadsheet and the Google Doc in for credit. All right. If you have questions, uh, shoot me a remind or a Google message or something. All right. But that should. Uh, I think be enough info for you guys to finish that and get that turned in. Alrighty. I will talk to you guys later.